So, in last class we have discussed about the significant digit and doubtful digit and how to decide the significant uh, figure uh, when we add or multiply uh, this individual number depending on the least count of the instrument. Uh, one has to decide the significant figure. So, we, we took example of meter scale and uh, we calculated the length, breadth and thickness and then uh, find out the uh, this volume of this uh, a regular shape body. So, in meter scale, so today actually I will uh, I will discuss, I will continue the discussion on basic tools and apparatus in uh, uh, in our laboratory. So, for today mainly we will discuss about the slide caliper, screw gauge and magnifying glass, uh, how we are using to find out the uh, find out the uh, basically coinciding of the uh, lines in uh, slight calipers and screw gauge to find out the uh, uh, digits after the decimal uh, point. So, uh, next uh, uh, first we will discuss about the slight calipers that is uh, actually in class 11. Uh, student uh, do this experiment, but if I will I will just discuss once more because in whole life for any experiment most of the experiment we need this instrument and we should have clear idea about this instrument how to use and what is the significant of this instrument. So, so let us uh, uh, start with the meter scale. So, we have a meter scale and there this list count is, is uh, millimeter because between this 1 and 2 say between 1 and 2 how many lines are there this you can count it it is uh, 10 lines are there 10 divisions are there. So, each division is 1 millimeter right. So, that means, 0 0.1 uh, centimeter is the least count. Now, in this when we use this instrument, so our error will be basically in the measurement uh, length measurement. So, that will be plus minus. So, whatever the result you will get. So, there we write plus minus 0 0.1 uh, centimeter. Uh, why we write this error? Because as I told that we hear this uh, this 1 millimeter division is visible and if the reading is between two uh, two lines uh, then it one can guess uh, to the next decimal. Uh, whether uh, this uh, 0 0.05 or 0 0.03, 0 0.07 actually that is the guess. So, uh, since you can see it is visible, so you can uh, you can guess and that digit second digit after decimal that we take as a uh, doubtful digit. Okay. So, your reading can be say 2. Point uh, 4 or it can be 2.5 if it is in between if it is in between 2.4 and 2.5 so you can write that 2.45 or 43 or 47 so this second digit after decimal that is the doubtful one okay so so that means, we need more precise uh, instrument to measure length more accurately. 
So, that is why the concept of vernier slide calipers uh, uh, is uh, into introduced and then even better uh, instrument we have. So, that is the next one is uh, screw gauge. So, it has better resolution, be better list count. So, these two instrument we will discuss today. So, this uh, so, uh, so I will show you this very common slide calipers we use in our instrument uh, in our laboratory. Say this is the uh, slide calipers. Okay, this is the slide calipers. So I will second I will show you second slide calipers which one is better than this. Uh, one. So, this uh, means resolution wise list count wise. So, here so you have to be familiar with this slide calipers right. So, here you can see this in in top this is called jaw okay, upper jaw and lower jaw. So, if I just move it I think I have to uh, loosen it. So, you can see this upper this two jaw and lower this two jaw and another when I am moving. So, another prong tail is coming out. So, if I closed it, if I closed it. So, now it coincide this prong that end is coincide with this edge and here this also this uh, this two sharp edge parallel edge that also they coincide and this lower one also these two jaws this parallel edge they coincide. Now, in this condition we have to see here the two scales are there one is main scale right and another is vernier scale. So, I think so now uh, we will use the magnifying glass to see it if you if you see you see this two scale one is main scale and another is is called vernier scale. Now, on vernier scale you can see 0 and I think it is uh, written 9 and then bigger one no, 0 and there is 1 means uh, in between there are 10 divisions. Okay. So, in vernier scale there are 10 divisions and 0 of vernier scale it coincides with the 0 of the main scale you can see 0 of the main scale it coincides 0 of the main scale right. Yeah. So, that you have to check whether 0 of the vernier scale coincide with the 0 of the main scale or not. So, at this condition that is initial condition when this lower jaws and upper jaws they are parallel edges coincide with each other and this at the end this prong tail coincide with the edge of this main scale. Okay. So, this is the uh, initial condition here we find out the whether is there initial whether 0 error is there or not what is 0 order uh, error. So, at this condition initial condition initial condition. So, this 0 of the vernier scale whether coincide with the 0 of the main scale. So, if they coincide then we tell 0 error is nil there is no 0 error and if they do not coincide. So, the two uh, case there are there may be two cases one is 0 of the vernier uh, uh, scale that cross this 0 of the uh, main scale means if 0 of the vernier scale is at the left of the 0 of the main scale this is one case and another case 
zero of the Vernier scale is at the uh, right of the zero of the main scale. So, these three cases one is zero of the Vernier scale will coincide with the zero of the main scale, another is it will not coincide zero of the Vernier scale uh, is at the left of the zero of the main scale and third case may be that zero of the Vernier scale is at the right side of the zero of the main scale. Okay. So, uh, so in one this in first case when they coincide then we tell the zero error is nil if it is left zero of the Vernier scale is at the left then we tell that it is a negative error and if it is at the right of the uh, right side of the zero of the main scale then we tell it is the positive error. Okay. And uh, so, how to how to take care of this error when we will note down the final reading of the of the length. So, let me tell you uh, that one. So, this uh, you see if you take so I will take this meter scale. Now, if you measure if you measure the length of this block, okay. If you want to measure the length of this block or width of this block or thickness of this block okay, using the meter scale. So, generally what we do? We I think I have to take this way. So, the 0 of the main scale, 0 of the this meter scale. So, that generally at the left of this body. So, we try to make it coincide with this edge. Okay fine is coincide, then we take the reading of this uh, right hand side. So, it is 7.8 I can see it is 7.8 this reading is, is 7.8 right and probably it is slightly more than 7.8. Okay. So, yeah. So, let it is 7.8. Okay. So, um, so, this uh, length uh, this way we can measure. So, because why we are taking directly this reading 7.8 whatever is showing at the right uh, right side of this body because this left side of the body is coincide with the 0 of the scale. Now, it is all the always we, uh, one may not measure this way. So, this left edge of this body it may it may be uh, say it is coincide at uh, say I can uh, take it at 2. Okay. Then right hand side you can see the reading is uh, 9.8 it is 9.8 it is 9.8 right. So, in this case what we will tell this because length is same 7.8 but reading now initial reading is 2 initial reading is say it, it is 2 and yeah initial reading is 2 and this final reading is 9.8 okay so what will be the what will be the length then then what we do we write that your reading, reading is basically or length we can write reading is equal to final final reading minus initial reading right initial reading. Initial reading. Okay, so so uh, final reading. Uh, in one case, we took the seven point eight minus initial reading was zero, zero point zero. So final reading was final reading was seven point eight, seven point eight centimeter. Okay, 
and another case this final reading was 9.8 minus uh, this was 2.0 okay it is then also it is 7.8 so in whatever the way we are measuring so our length is 7.8 centimeter right so uh, what formula you are, we are using that is the final reading whatever we are taking minus the initial reading so then it will give you the reading okay reading of the length okay reading of the length okay in this case reading of the length fine okay so so this is the basic formula to get the uh, reading of length or depth or width whatever okay so if we take this the basic formula final reading minus initial reading so now it will be so using this formula we will find out we will we will we will we will see the uh, how how one can take care of the zero reading in case of slide calipers and uh, screw gauge okay so let me let me come to this come to back to um, this uh, slide calipers now in slide calipers in slide calipers we have so first what we should do we should we should find out the zero error okay so in this case for this instrument the zero error is nil mean zero so initial reading is uh, so zero error is i, I would say uh, 0, 0.0 or 0, 0.00 uh, centimeter so which one will write so that will come later on so before starting measurement of the uh, of the length what we have to do we have to find out the zero error so in this instrument the zero error is is zero okay next we have to find out the vernier constant okay so vernier constant how one can find out we have to see here in vernier constant vernier scale there are 10 divisions now 10th division it at this condition the 10th division it coincides with the how many division of the at which division of the main scale so in this case you can see the 10th division 10th division of vernier scale that coincide with the ninth division of the main scale right so that we have to find out so it is fine here this 10th division of vernier scale coincide with the ninth division of the main scale what does it mean it means that the length of the 10 division of vernier scale is equal to the length of the 9 division of the main scale now what is the value of the 9 division of the main scale each division in main scale is 1 millimeter right so 9 division of main scale this length uh, uh, that 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 uh, reading will be or length will be the 9 into 0 0.1 centimeter so that is the uh, length of the of the 9 division in main scale so that means 10 division length of 10 division of vernier scale is equal to 9 millimeter or 9 into 0 0.1 centimeter right so now definition of vernier constant is difference definition of the vernier constant is basically is basically difference of so vernier constant vernier constant is the definition is difference between the uh, difference between the 
one main scale reading and the one vernier scale reading. So, one main scale reading minus one vernier scale reading. So, one main scale reading is is 1 millimeter means 0 0.1 centimeter right minus 1 vernier scale reading is how much. So, that we have so we have seen that 10 division uh, vernier scale division equal to 9 main scale division right main scale division main scale division ok. So, that means, one vernier scale division equal to 9 by 10 main scale division right. So, once so this means this 9 by 10 into 0 0.1 centimeter right. So, one vernier scale division equal to 9 by 10 into 0 0.1 centimeter. So, 9 by 10 into 0 0.1 centimeter. Okay. So, if you take difference, so 1 minus 9 by 10 into 1 mean scale division that is 0 0.1 centimeter. So, from here you are getting 1 by 10 into 0 0.1 centimeter. Okay. So, what it is? It is basically 1 uh, this uh, this basically 1 main scale division divided by number total number of number of vernier scale division. Okay. So, in this case one main scale division in our case. So, that is 0 0.1 divided by number of vernier scale division is 10. Okay. So, here whatever you are getting from definition 0 0.1 by 10. So, it is nothing but the one main scale division divided by number of vernier scale division. So, that is why generally students just take this one, okay. just see what is the value of the one main scale division and then just what is the total number of vernier scale division. So, just divide it with this and then get the result. So, that is the vernier constant. Okay. So, this has come from the from the basic definition of the vernier constant and in this instrument this vernier constant is 0 0.0. 0 0.01 centimeter. Okay. So, uh, that means, it is 0 0.1 millimeter. right? So, now you see the in meter scale the least count was uh, 1 millimeter. Now, in this case this vernier uh, uh, scale it is uh, 0 0.1 millimeter. So, uh, one order of magnitude means 10 times better this resolution the list count is 10 times better of this vernier uh, slide calipers than the meter scale. Okay. So, that is why for uh, accurate measurement better measurement. So, people use wherever possible people use the uh, slide calipers. Okay. Uh, so, so, this uh, is this the, this the way one has to find out the vernier constant and for this instrument whatever I have shown here this vernier constant is vernier constant is, uh, is 0 0.01 centimeter. Okay. Now, I will show you another slide calipers that has even better uh, list count better vernier constant. So, let me show you this one. So, this this is also used in nowadays this is more popular because it is uh, uh, it is vernier constant is uh, is better it is a 
I will show you what is the Vernier constant for this. So, again you see it has a uh, prong tail and this this uh, upper jaws and lower jaws. Okay. So, what is the use of this these three uh, things that I will tell you. So, again you have to first you have to see whether is there any zero error. Okay. So, in this case also there is no zero error it seems. So, you can just check it yes 0 of the Vernier uh, scale coincide with the 0 of the main scale fine. So, 0 error for this uh, slight calipers also it is uh, it is nil it is 0. So, now you see in Vernier scale how many divisions are there this you can see this is the uh, 10 into 5. So, this 50 division. Okay. So, in Vernier scale there are 50 division and in main scale what is the division one in main scale division equal to you can see that is uh, 1 millimeter. Right. Now, what will be the Vernier constant for this case? So, just you use your from the definition whatever we got this Vernier constant equal to 1 main scale division divided by the total number of Vernier scale division. Okay. So, that means 1 millimeter divided by 50 division. So, that means 0 0.1 centimeter by 50 equal to 0 0.002 earlier so, Vernier constant for this slight calipers is 0 0.002. So, it is a uh, uh, earlier one was having Vernier constant that was 0 0.01, now 0 0.002. So, it is uh, this scale Vernier uh, the slight calipers, it is uh, its list count is better than the earlier one. So, it is uh, basically 5 times better. So, for this this one uh, your Vernier constant is Vernier constant is your Vernier constant is basically um, for this case Vernier constant is 0 0.1 centimeter once male scale division divided by total number of Vernier scale division this 50. So, it is a 0 0.002 centimeter. Okay. So, it is the 5 times better than the earlier one, 5 times better than the earlier one. Okay. So, uh, and, and also you have to note down 0 error, 0 error, 0 error that is basically in this case nil. So, before starting measurement, so you have to find out these two, one is 0 error and another is Vernier constant. Right. So, now, uh, now let me tell you so what you can measure with this with this uh, uh, slight calipers. So, uh, wh whether we have more advantage of this slight calipers than the meter scale. So, one advantage is that list count is, uh, is better. Okay, you can measure the length more accurately. And second advantage is that if I tell you, if I tell you to find out the uh, inner diameter, inner diameter of a of a cylinder, say this is my cylinder, right? Here I am showing you cylinder. So if I tell you this, what is the what is the what is the inner diameter of this of this uh, uh, of this cylinder inner diameter of the cylinder right so with meter scale one can find out but it will not be that uh, it's a uh, um, i think uh, yeah here you can measure uh, with meter scale also, but it will not be that convenient and outer diameter also meter scale you can use, but it will not be that convenient. Okay. So, 
in this case slight calipers will be very helpful. So, if you external diameter fine, so you can measure this this way and find out what is the reading. So, now here let me tell you here let me tell you the uh, how to take reading. Okay. So, uh, so this is the so I, I so this is the external diameter external diameter of this external diameter of this one right then probably I will lock it I will lock it for this I will lock it ok. Now, I will take the reading of this one take the reading of this one. So, first I have to see that uh, just uh, I have to look at the 0 of the uh, vernier scale. Now, that 0 that line now I have to take reading of the main scale uh, this what is the reading of the line just left just left of this 0 vernier reading. Okay. So, here I can see the reading is is just uh, I think is 4 yeah I think it is uh, yeah it is 4 uh, and then 0 at the left of this 0 that is 4 and it is almost coincide with the uh, no 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 I think uh, centimeter. So, it is 1 sorry. So, 4 is just uh, it is uh, on top of the scale. So, it is G, it is 1 ok. So, left reading of the main scale left just left to the 0 uh, in main scale. So, that is 1 centimeter and it almost coincide with this next 1 millimeter. So, it is the 1.1, but I will not take 1.1 uh, because I have to take the reading at the just left line uh, of the main scale. So, this I will take 1. Now, uh, then it is greater than 1. So, to find out that how much it is greater, I have to see the which line of the main scale uh, vernier scale coincide with the uh, with the uh, with which line of the uh, with any 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 line of the main scale ok. So, here I can see it is uh, um, I can see I can tell you that it is it is 48 it is 48 coincide with the you can tell 60. Uh, sorry 50, 49 and I can, but uh, it, in my opinion it is 48 ok. So, so that means 48, 48 division of the uh, 48 division of the of the vernier scale it coincide with the uh, with the uh, one, one line of the main scale. So, my vernier reading it is called vernier reading is 48. Now, uh, now reading your reading is your reading is basically your reading is is equal to uh, main scale reading main scale reading plus vernier scale reading right. Uh, now, main scale reading how, how much I got 1 point uh, 0 0 centimeters plus vernier scale reading. So, uh, uh, this uh, it is the 48 vernier scale division coincide with the uh, with the main scale into vernier constant into vernier constant. In this case vernier constant is it is basically vernier constant is 0 0.002 ok. So, that means, it is coming 1.00. So, actually I will write this way up to 3 decimal because here our accuracy in the third decimal ok. So, 0 0 0 plus 
here I can see uh, 96 0 0.096 ok. So, my reading is 1.096 centimeter right. So, this way you got the reading you got the radius external diameter of the cylinder right external diameter of the cylinder. Now, uh, we have to take care of 0 error. So, uh, so this is the reading I can say that is uh, at the this is the reading at uh, what I should say uh, compared to meter scale as I told that this is the final reading I have got, but what was the initial reading that is the basically uh, 0 reading right. So, 0 reading in this case we are telling that it is uh, error is 0. So, that was initial reading error can be positive error can be negative ok. So, that we have to take care. So, actually your final reading your final reading uh, of length basically is a reading when I am telling this uh, uh, reading of the length and another reading of this uh, uh, initial reading and final reading kind of things. So, if we apply the definition of the of the of the uh, reading of the length. So, your final reading minus initial reading. So, this is the final reading if we take care uh, take as a final reading then minus initial reading. So, that is 0 error ok 0 error 0 error ok. So, 0 error. So, in this case 0 error was 0 0 0.000 I can up to 3 digit I can write. So, fine. Now, here what I want to say in meter scale in meter scale we have taken reading this final reading and initial reading. So, initial reading is just I think I will I will tell you to understand the positive and negative error. So, here you see here when we are taking reading. So, what we are doing so this object we are taking object you see uh, earlier this I put at 2 and this is a 9.8 ok. Now, if I just if I just take this is a 1 it is the 1 and this 8 point uh, yeah uh, I think 8.8 .8, ok it is the 8.8. .8. So, I am decreasing the initial reading and right thus if I go just if I go this initial reading becoming 0 right. When initial reading is becoming 0 then it is 7.8, when initial reading is 2 it is uh, it is uh, 9.8 ok, it is 9.8. So, uh, so that means, if this this one this this left edge of this body it coincide with a reading which is greater than 0 ok. So, that is getting minus from the final reading. So, that is getting minus from the final reading right. So, that is getting minus from the final reading fine right. Now, uh, that means this right hand side that right side right hand side is that reading is higher than the actual reading for the length. Now, if you imagine that when 0 that is fine if it cross 0 if it cross 0 then what what will be the reading it cross 0 then I can see I can see this reading is is 7 point say 7 it is uh, it is around 7.7 .7. it is around 7.7 .7, right if it cross 0 if it cross 0 7.7 .7, right. So, that means that initial final reading is now less than the actual reading of the length ok. Then what does it mean then this minus initial reading that is there. So, then this error we tell 
this is negative error. That means, I have this error I have to add with the final reading right. So, uh, how you will add? So, because my definition is final reading minus initial reading. So, final reading minus if this is negative error 0 error. So, minus of minus this initial reading right minus of minus this initial reading. So, then will be minus into minus that will be plus. Okay. So, that is why when this edge of this uh, this body it cross it is at the uh, left side of the 0 of the scale. So, then this reading initial reading we have to take minus of this reading okay. and if it is if it is uh, right side of this 0 then we tell it is a positive error. So, whatever the reading earlier it was 2 now whatever the reading. So, that will be positive error and that will be minus initial reading this is a positive. So, it is a it will get uh, minus from the final reading. Okay. So, this way one can understand what wh which one is minus error negative error which one is positive error. So, negative error get added with the final reading and positive error get uh, minus from the uh, subtracted from this final reading. Okay. So, negative error added and positive error uh, subtracted. Okay. So, this way if we take the definition of this reading final reading minus initial reading. So, then easily you can tell uh, that negative error means it will be minus positive error means a plus, but negative error added with the final reading and positive error get subtracted from the final reading. Okay. So, in this in case of in this in case of Bernier uh, scale in case of Bernier scale. So, how to find out the 0 error? So, I think I will uh, I will show you. So, when you will take at 0 position I will loosen it take it at 0 position then uh, when you take the 0 position and then you have to see if it cause minus error or, or plus error okay, positive or negative error. Now, you have to see this which division of the Bernier scale coincide with the main scale. So, if you see this okay, uh, okay, say uh, 25th division of this Bernier scale coincide with the uh, one line of the main scale. So, your error will be 25 into the Bernier constant that will be the 0 error. Now, it will be plus or minus depending on whether 0 of the Bernier scale it is at the right of the 0 of the main scale or it is left at the 0 of the main scale. Okay. So, that way you one can find out the positive and negative error for this uh, Bernier scale. Okay. So, I think uh, I will I will stop it here and then I will continue in next class. Thank you.